Series. What's in store for us here? It's game two of the NLDS between the New York Mets and the Los Angeles Dodgers. Again, everyone, Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to our special postseason coverage of baseball on the show. Carlos and Steve Lyons and Steve, an important ball game coming up here in Game Two. Yeah, and remember that this is just a five-game series, so getting that first win under your belts is especially important right here. If they can get a second win now; they could really give themselves a good chance to move on. Set for what should be a good one. Lineups and first pitch are next. The crowd is ready to erupt as their guys get set to take the field. Let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now, your 2015 NL West champion, Los Angeles Dodgers. Briefly here, a glance at the two starters who'll get the ball here in this one. More from the guys as this one goes along, but first, let's have a look at the starting lineup for the visiting New York Mets as Terry Collins sets his guys up like this. They'll be opposed by the American League's Cy Young Award winner from 2009, the hard-throwing right-hander Zach Grinke. And behind him defensively, the Dodgers will line up like this. Set to go now as Curtis Granderson is into the box to get this one underway. Here's a pitch taken for ball one as we get underway here at 7.06. And you know, these guys were shut out last time out. And hey, that's going to happen here in the postseason. I mean, it's not like you're facing these journeymen's number four, number five starters anymore. Once you get into the postseason, it's the best of the best. You're seeing number ones, number twos. And you know, they've got another tough assignment here. But hey, no question. This offense has to get going if they're going to hang around in this series at all. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Hit the target, but this is low, 2-1. and one. Game time temperature here in even 60 degrees. The 2 1 now to Granderson. And this will miss as well. So he's in danger of losing the leadoff man here tonight. It's 3 and 1 now. And even just four pitches in, you need to find a strike here because you don't want to give him a free base runner to start the night. Here he comes, 3 1. And that misses ball four. So not the start he was looking for tonight as he walks the leadoff hitter on five pitches. Batting second here tonight. Third baseman, number five. David Wright will stand in now, and he'll likely have a look down to third to see if anything's up here with nobody out. First pitch now from Greinke. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. It's so important with guys like this to get ahead with strike one. Put them behind in the count and on their back foot right away. He's set, now the pitch. 
And this will be lined into center field, and they've got themselves their first hit of the ball game. Boy, we always talk about pitch speeds from pitchers. How hard are they throwing the ball? How hard was that ball hit back up the middle? Way harder than it was thrown, I can guarantee you that. Here's your one assessment. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. Seems like he's missed his spots a few times here already. Yeah, he hasn't been overly sharp, that's for sure. He hasn't caught up to him yet, but he's going to need to find that rhythm. The 1 0 pitch. Comes in with the changeup, and it's 2 0. And now on 2 0, he can't just lay a fastball in there, but he can make this a 3 0 game before you know it. Now the 2 0 home. Down low, and the plot thickens here. 3 0. The alarm bells are ringing now. They're getting louder and louder, too. Here comes the 3-0. Swing and a liner. But this is going to get fouled. First and second here with nobody out. Here he comes on 3-1. And this will be fouled away. Three and two, here it is. Swing and a miss, and they'll come all the way back from three and oh to punch him out. One away. Yeah, and sometimes all it takes is just one good sequence to get your groove going out there on the mound. He's still in a little bit of a jam out there, but... Hopefully for him, the strikeout will help loosen him up. Daniel Murphy will stand in now in an early RBI spot at the top of the first. First pitch on the way. Now both runners on the move. Here's the ball popped up. Playable, however, in foul ground for Ellis behind the plate. And he will make the catch back there as they're a step closer to getting out of this with two away now. Certainly love a one pitch pop out in that spot. That's yeah, like a get out of jail free card. Travis Darno will take his first cut to the ball game here. Now here's the first pitch. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Set now the pitch. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Ready now on one and one. Now a swing, and he pops him up. Right up the chute. This may be tough behind the plate. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. Two left for the Mets. The Dodgers coming up, and we are scoreless. Now a look at the starting lineup for the host Dodgers. go to work against the hard-throwing right-hander Matt Harvey as you see his numbers there. And in the field we see the Mets will line up this way. And the 
Left-handed hitting Carl Crawford will stand in to start the home half of inning number one. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. One thing about our two starters, they'll both light up the radar gun all game long. The next pitch. Lined into left center. And that'll get down a leadoff single for Crawford. So far, so good. They get a scoreless top of the first and now a leadoff single to start things in their half. Howie Kendrick will get his first opportunity now. Here's the first offering. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. The 1-0. A high strike there, and it's 1-1. One and one. Seemed to quicken his delivery to the plate on that last pitch. Well, you got to remember the slide step does two things for you. It gets the catcher the ball quicker so he can throw a guy out, or it will hold the runner on first so he doesn't steal at all. 1-1 one, one on the way. And this one's up around the eyes, 2-1. and one. On at first is a stolen base threat in Crawford. Nobody out. Kendrick waiting. Now the pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. Two two pitch on the way. And it gets under the two two a bit as this is sent in the air out to straightaway central. Cespedes will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Number five. Get his first opportunity now. Runner still at first with one away. First pitch coming. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. Pause. Now the pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. Two strikes now from Harvey. Whoa. A little bit off the outside. It's one and two. Well, I, I think that fastball is just for show there. He's not trying to throw this for a strike. Here comes the one two. And now this is swung on and lifted in the air to left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. Long throw to third. And he'll get into third here on the flyout, so he's 90 feet away here with one gone. Well, anybody who calls this place home will tell you, this is not a home run hitting part, but it will give up its share of doubles. And this one moves runners to second and third now, as they're looking to cash in. Here's Adrian now. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. The 1-0 home just does manage to get a piece there if this is bounced foul. Runners are at second and third with one down. The 1-1. One, one. Goes the other way, and he got a lot of it out to deep left. To Dyer the catch, and the runner coming home from third. And he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ball game. Well, that's all he's hoping to do right here. Just get that thing airborne and get that first run of the game home. 
does his job, picks up the RBI. Justin Turner will stand in, coming off a great performance in the Game 1 victory. And he really is the X factor in this lineup. If he can stay hot, they're going to have a good chance of pulling this thing out. Pitch to him. Fastball in there for a cold strike. And he's probably a little bit upset with himself for giving up that early run, but he really reached back for something extra right there. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. From the stretch. Hit hard down the right field line, but foul. set now the pitch and he gets around on the fastball here as this is hit well out toward left field and he will get there to make the running play and that will end the inning i have to imagine there's a full moon tonight judging by this bunch back with more postseason baseball in game two after this Lucas Duda leads things off now in the top half of the second. First baseman, number 21, Lucas Duda. First offering on the way. First pitch of the ball. inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. Here comes the 1-0. And this is going to be a foul ball. The 1-1. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. And this is something we've seen a lot from him recently. He's worked his way into another good hitter's count. Yeah, it's not unrelated either. When you're going good at the plate, usually means you're being selective and you're not getting yourself out. And when that happens, you'll find yourself in these kind of counts. Called strike that time, and it's even a two and two. A pretty dangerous spot for that one. I don't think it was by design. It's one thing to miss your spots out of the zone, but when you miss in the zone, especially up, that's when you tend to get hurt. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch if that's the first out of the inning. Well, we'll get a look here at the grip on that last cutter. You can see he holds this thing way over to one side. And the idea is that at the last moment, it'll cut in towards the hitter, just like that one did. Stepping in now, Michael Kadire. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. One of the things that makes him so tough to hit, the ability to put his pitches right on the black. Yeah, I mean, you watch the catcher's glove on some of these, and it literally does not move. That's how good his stuff is. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. And I'll tell you, being in a two-strike hole is not the spot you want to be in against a guy like this. And the pitch. And a swing and a miss as they caught him reaching that time, and there are two away. And so with two away now, let's give you another look at our playoff bracket as you see what could lie ahead for the winner in this series. Tejada will stand in here hoping to at least put a ball in play here this inning. Have a nice flight home, Nick. And here's the first pitch. A oh. fastball here as he'll take a look. Early one nothing advantage as we play the second. 1-0. 
And that misses, Inside. so that'll put Tejada in the driver's seat, 2-0. Two zero on the way. Swing and a miss on the heater, and it's two and one. Ready with the two one, and this is hit well towards the hole. There to get it is Kendrick. Throw on to the first baseman Gonzalez will take care of him, and the inning is over. We'll get a look at Andre Ethier leading off when we come back. And after an inning and a half, it's one to nothing. And there is Andre Ethier. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. Andre Ethier. Now here's the first pitch. First offering to him stays upstairs. It's a ball and no strikes. Now the 1-0. And now a curveball as he's got to lean out of the way. That one nearly got him. Well, not close on either of these first two pitches. He's going to have to find the release point quick before he loses the leadoff guy. The 2-0 on the way. In there, two and one. Here it comes, two and one. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. And a good throw gets him, one gone. A.J. Ellis digs in at the plate. Here's the first offering. Right on it there, but this is foul over toward the first base dugout. One out, nobody on. The pitch. And that misses one and one. One one pitch on the way. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. And if you're not careful, this is the kind of guy that can run off six scoreless innings against you from here out. So that first inning run isn't something you can bank on holding up. Here comes a one-two. To two balls and two strikes now. Yeah, that's a great pitch on one and two. You start it in the zone, and hopefully you'll get that guy thinking he needs to protect. It turned out to be a good take. That's the 2-2 pitch. No. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. Bases are empty. One man out. Here's the payoff pitch. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. Full count pitch on its way. And that's off his leg on the mound. And now, fortunately, they will get an out here. And time now to see quite where that got him. And it appeared from up here at least, and his actions on the field confirm it. It looked like it got him on its drive leg, which could be problematic, of course, for him. But from the way he's trying to walk it off, I think he's going to try to continue. Jock Peterson get his first chance now. Trying to get something started with two away here in the bottom of the second. First pitch coming. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. Now the pitch. He goes the other way as this is hit well out toward deep left field. Kadir will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. 
One, two, three, go the Dodgers. We play two innings, it's one to nothing. Matt Harvey will turn right around and get us started here. Nine, one, and two to start inning number three. Now the pitch. Now a fastball to start the third. That misses. It's ball one. The 1-0. -oh. And a strike to even the count. One and one. He may not throw a ton of change-ups here tonight, but he's got a good one when he needs it. And I think he will need it because this is a good fastball hitting team. On, Most teams go. are. So the more you can keep these guys guessing off balance, on, the better. And he lays two off ball. for a ball, two and one. This guy is almost no threat up at the plate. I mean, you could get away with fastballs right down the middle if you wanted to. A 2-1 offering. Now a swing and a high fly ball, and this one has some carry on it to deep right field. One away here to begin the third. Well, always nice to get the inning started against the pitcher. and Sets him down easily for the first out of the third. Curtis Granderson will get a second shot now. He worked out a walk to open the ball game. First pitch coming. And a check swing here, but he clearly went around on a pitch that would have been a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Here it comes. Ball one. Here's the 1-1. One, one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Now the 2-1 pitch. And this will be fouled away. Here he comes on 2-2. Two and a good cut here by Granderson, but this one's going to find the seats in right of foul ball. Now another 2-2. Two -two. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. 2-2. Two -two. And he swings and pops it foul behind the plate. Lays himself out and makes a spectacular catch. David Wright will stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another 1-2-3 inning. Now, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. Now, the first pitch. And they'll try and get him out in front to start the at-bat, but this misses off the plate away. It's ball one. And even with two outs, this is a team that can still put something together here, especially in this part of the lineup. So you can't let your guard down. 1-0 on the way. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. Crawford is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Good work there by Zach Grinke. Still working on a 1-0 lead. Zach Grinke makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. Here's the first pitch to him. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Now that he's fully loose out there, you can see he's getting a little more zip on that fastball than he had coming out of the gate. Pitch on the way. 
Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Here's the one one pitch. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. Now the one two. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. The two two. Full count, three balls and two strikes. On deck is Carl Crawford. Now the three and two pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Yeah, it took him a few batters to get it going in the first, but after that first inning run, he's come back to retire the next six in a row. Carl Crawford will stand in. He singled to lead off the home first. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt, the first pitch. Now he runs up and gets this one down. On the barehanded attempt, gets by him here, and that ought to go as a bunt single. Let's check this out again. This is in show motion, and you'll see how he shows bunt late. He's got his head right on the baseball watching it all the way under the barrel of the bat. That's as good a form as you're going to see. Here's Howie Kendrick. As he'll look oh. at a fastball too high for ball one. one -oh pitch now. And a good heater as he just watches this baby. A ball and a strike. Runners on first with one down. Here's the 1-1 one -one pitch. Pitches a ball strike. The throw. Uh, the throw pulls him off the bag. And let's train our eyes on this stolen base from our high first base camera. You'll see him get a pretty good jump. And he wasn't looking back at all right there. So he gets into scoring position now with one out. The right-hander deals on one and two. And a swing and a miss as they caught him reaching that time. And there are two away. That's just a nasty slider here way off the plate, plays on the hitter's aggressiveness. And... Number five, he doubled his first time around. Into the box now, number five, strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. And you know, if you're going to challenge a guy up in the zone with a fastball, why not do it on the first pitch? A lot of times he's going to be taken anyway, and you just bought yourself a strike that you can now throw anything off of. From the belt, kicks and deals. I got the high fastball there, and he popped it straight up. And Darno will make the catch, and that ends the inning. Dodgers lead one, but they lead it one to nothing. Joanna Cespedes will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Now the first pitch. Foul tip into the catcher's glove at strike one. Now here's the pitch. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Let's go, Dodgers. Here comes the one-one. 
A little bit outside. Two and one. And that's not a bad spot. Just go ahead and stay out there. Don't come down the middle because we know he can hurt you. Here comes the 2-1. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to 3-1. and one. Oh, I think he'd be real happy with a leadoff walk. Something just to get things started against this guy. The 3-1 is on the way. Late on the fastball there as this one skied out toward right. Under it now is Ethier. One away. So with the fly out there coming on the fastball, seems like an appropriate time to check out our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And these two guys have both displayed their power arms so far with top speeds at 94 and 97 respectively. Daniel Murphy will dig in. He popped out in foul territory his first time. Now here's the first pitch. First pitch here is another fly ball. This one out to left field. Under it is Crawford, and he's got it for out number two. Travis Darno will dig in. He popped out in foul territory his first time. First pitch on the way. And this is popped foul off to the right and back into the seats. And now pitch on the way. Outside for a ball, one and one. The one one home. Breaking ball snaps in there for a called strike two. Boy, that curve of his is so darn tough, especially right on the heels of that fastball. It's 20 miles an hour slower, and it dips down hard at the end. And the cutter got him swinging. Strike three, and the side is retired. Mets go down one, two, three. It remains one nothing. Adrian Gonzalez will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Fastball that gets the inside corner, strike one. And you know, this is a guy that loves the ball down and in. It's one of the locations he really covers well, so they're going to want to mix their spots here. Now here's the pitch. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's one and one. Now the one one. Now he goes the other way, and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field. And this one is gone. A home run to lead off the bottom of the fourth. So a solo shot here to left center field. His first homer here in the series. And the Dodgers move in front now two to nothing. Well, he's been the entire show here tonight. Remember, he drove in their only run earlier, and he continues to have a nice game as he launches this one way out of here. Standing in now, Justin Turner. He'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0-1. Two runs, four hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. And the pitch. 
having success with the fastball here. It's 0-2 now. Some would say he's showing good patience here, waiting for his pitch. But as a number five hitter, I think you need to make something happen. Two strikes now from Harvey. That misses, says the home plate umpire. One and two. Where it misses, I'm not quite sure. Not too sure how you take that one on over two. Yeah, not too sure how you call it a ball either. Now a swing and a ball pulled down the line to third. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Here's another one, too. Uh, trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Base is empty here with nobody out. Here comes a 2-2. And he reaches for one out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first out. That's a nice comeback there after the home run. Sometimes the home crowd gets a little amped up, so you start to rush a little out there and make things worse, but he's able to bounce back and get him to chase one here with two strikes. At the plate is Andre Ethier. As he'll swing and lift a foul ball off to the left and out of play. Now here it comes. Right on that pitch that time as he wraps it into center field, the base hit. The catcher, number 17, A.J. Ellis. A.J. Ellis will stand in with a run in, one out and one on here in the inning. Here's the first offering. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Runner at first here, one man out. one -oh on the way. And a slider stays outside, and he falls behind 2-0. Oh. Well, two very good takes here. You can see they're trying to get him to hit something on the ground, but he's going to make him bring something up. Harvey now on 2-0. and oh. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Here's the 2-1 and one pitch. A little too tall that time. 3-1 and one now. And he's got a little bit of work to do now to avoid that first walk. Three one on the way. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But a foul ball, and it's full now at three and two. Here's the full count offer. And here's a ball hit in the air. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Here's the three two pitch. And the payoff pitch is chopped foul at home plate, so we'll do it again. Still three and two. The three-two pitch. And he's just going to make him throw as many pitches as he can as he fouls another one away, and it's still full at three and two. He's ready now to pitch, and he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Now there are two ways you can go here as a pitching coach. So he's got to make a judgment call out there. He knows what buttons to press with each of his pitchers. Some guys you've got to reassure and be very positive with. You know, other guys, they respond better when you go out and challenge them. You really got to read them the riot act. Jock Peterson will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. First pitch to him. Now a ball lying towards center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Around third and being waved on home. Now the relay home. 
And the run will score from second as now it's a three to nothing game. I think he was looking for a fastball there. I think he was. That's about as hard a hit ball as you're going to see it. He was right on that one. Looks like a left-hander has begun to get loose out in that Mets bullpen. Into the box, Zach Grinke. And he pops up the bunt attempt. First and second now, one man out. Has a look, now the pitch. Wearing again here as this time he steers one fair to the left side. And a great athletic play to get him. Man, wow. Oh, man, what did he love? Oh, so he had to bend all the way over to make a barehanded grab, then a quick release, a nice throw to first in time to get the runner. You can expect to see that on highlight reels for a couple days at least now. Here's Carl Crawford now, as the first pitch to him is off the plate. Really? So this becomes a very important at-bat for both teams. Here's a 1-0. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Straight paint at 94 miles an hour. Not a lot of movement there but it's right on a dime. Here's the 1-1. One, one. That nibbled the corner there, but missed 2-1. This is the kind of inning he's not pitching efficiently. He's just trying to be too darn fine. He's not trusting his stuff. One. And this is foul tipped at the plate right off the arm of the catcher behind the plate. Out. Here's the two and two offering. Goes the other way, and this is in the air out to left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. So two runs on three hits, including the home run. No errors. And two men left on base. On to the top of inning number five we go. It's the Dodgers three and the Mets nothing. Lucas Duda will stand in to lead things off here. And his guys have been unable to get anything going to this point. Yeah, and you think so many times in the postseason, we see starting pitching really come to the forefront. And this guy's been every bit as good as advertised so far. First pitch coming. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. An early look at the line score here tonight as we play the top of the fifth. And boy, just one lone hit for the visitors this evening as they've been taken to task by this starter. Michael Kadire will try it again, set down on strikes his first time. First offering on the way. And now the second pitch of the inning is in the air to right. And he will run this one down. A good lead off the bat for the second out. Yeah, it's not like he needed any help. He's pitching well enough as it is, but this is now two pitches and two outs here in the inning. And he's growing more and more confident with every passing batter. Ruben Tejada will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Here's the first pitch now from Granke. The cutter runs outside, ball one. Well on his way to another good inning right here, and you see the pitch count. It's not even close to being a factor just yet. Water. It's your water here. Here's the 1-0. Now a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball, one and one. Tejada waits for the one and one. And here's a pitch swung on and missed, one and two now. 
but you get the sense that what they need is one big hit from anybody in the lineup. If they could get one, it could get them right back in this game because right now they just seem out of it. Lays off two and two now. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. And that misses. So after getting two first pitch outs, he's gone full to the third hitter here. And you know what? Give this guy some credit up there because this had the looks of a very quick inning. But at least he's been able to stretch his at-bat out a little bit. Now the payoff pitch home. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Once again, a 3-2. Out of play. The next 3-2. And this is popped high in the air, back behind short. Number five is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Mets. They trail it here, three to nothing. Howie Kendrick will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. And with Adrian Gonzalez just around the corner, we'll see a lefty getting loose in the bullpen now. And a ball 1-0. Oh. Yeah, that's getting bailed out at the plate. Now the 1-0 pitch. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Well, he just about went around. He, he was lucky to put on the brakes when he did. Now the 2-0 and pitch to Kendrick. Outside, 3-0 and now. A little shaky here to start the fifth. Yeah, he shouldn't be too tired. You figure he'll settle back in sooner or later. Three O is on the way. And that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. Well, it seems to me like you've at least got to make him go after something there. I mean, the bat never left his shoulder. That's making it way too easy for a guy leading off the inning. Number five will dig in. One for two with a double in this one. Here's the first pitch. Fastball. Whoa, look out. That just about got him in the coconut. Boy, a, a walk and then nearly a hit by pitch there. He's having himself a few problems out there. Here's the 1-0. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Ready now on one and one. And this is fouled back and out of play. Here's the one two. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. Well, that's a good take there with two strikes. That wasn't an easy one to lay off of. Here's the two and two home. Now a ball hit hard towards the hole. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. And you check this out. This is on the inside part of the plate, but he still is able to take it to the opposite field. I'll tell you, that is back control at its finest right there. Well, now here comes the Mets manager, Terry Collins, on his way to the mound. And he's already made the change. That's going to do it for Matt Harvey. 
So he'll depart after working just four plus innings as this will not go down as a quality start. That's for sure. John Neese is going to take over here in inning number five as it's going to be up to their bullpen to try and keep them in the game here. Here's Adrian now. And now a ball lifted into the air out towards center field. Cespedes is right there, one down. And as a result of that errant throw back in, he'll advance 90 feet here and move up from second to third. Good job there at second base of doing the math in his head and figuring out he can make it up to third. So that puts runners on the corners now with only one away. Justin Turner will stand in now. He flew out in his first time around and then was a strikeout victim last time. And here's the first pitch. And that's in there for strike one. Now at the plate, you're looking for something up in the zone. Try and keep it in the air. Make sure you don't hit into a double play. Runners leap from first and third. Here's the pitch. Now a potential double play ball for Tejada. Back to first. And that was a sparkler. A double play. And the inning is over. Your basic 6 4 3 will get him out of danger. Game two coverage rolls on after this. Number 30 will grab a bat and lead things off here in the top of the sixth. Number 30. Here's Greinke ah. back to work now as he jumps ahead of the first man to greet him. It's strike one. He continues to get ahead here. He's been in complete control. I think you need to guard yourself from being overconfident, though. A bloop and a blast could still turn this game on its ear. Now the Dodgers get a right-hander up and throwing in their bullpen. 0-2 oh, now as a curveball drops in there for a strike. Man, I don't know what he's waiting for. That one was even more down the middle than the last one was. Now the pitch. That fastball straightens him up a bit. 1-2 and two now. One, two. Ball two. And the hope was that he would have chased one of those pitches, but now on two and two, I don't think you fool around anymore. Now the two-two pitch. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Well, this guy has been like a maestro out there tonight. He starts another inning off with a strikeout. And a lot of these guys, they're not even close with their swings. He's had them eaten right out of the palm of his hand. Curtis Granderson will stand in, and he, like so many others, hitless in the ballgame so far. First pitch coming. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. And right now, these guys just need something to break their way. A blooper, a bunt, a hit by pitch. Something to get a base runner and give that guy something else to think about out there. Fouled back. Now the one and one pitch. And he finds a way to catch the zone here. It's one and two. Yeah, showing no fear there. He put the pitch right at the letters away, but that guy didn't want any part of it. Granderson waits on the one-two. Lays off the one-two changeup, and he's worked it back to two and two. And I think that's what they were trying to set him up for. Going with that changeup down in the zone on a one and two count. Very difficult to react to, but he did a great job of holding back. The two-two coming. 
And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Waiting in the on-deck circle is David Wright. Three, two, here it comes. Fastball too low, and that's ball four. Hey, you know what? That's all right. He gave him a pretty good battle up there, and he never gave in to him. A walk you can work around. A home run, you can't. David Wright will dig in now. A single and a fly out for him in two trips thus far. Some action in the Dodger bullpen now as it appears they have both the lefty and a right-hander up and throwing. First pitch coming. Here's a curveball that runs outside. It's ball one. Danger here is this is a guy who can make this a one-run game. And if he does, make him do it out to right field. I wouldn't give him anything he can pull. The next pitch. Out of play off to the right. It's one and one. Come on, guys. Start two. The one-one. And that pitch is lined into left field, and he's got his second hit of the evening. Just their second hit so far as a team, and he's got both of them. Somehow, he's figured something out that no one else has yet. Yoenis Cespedes will stand in now. He's struck out and flied out 0 for 2 thus far. Now the first pitch. And Grinky gets ahead with the fastball. Nothing in one. And that has been the comfort zone so far in this outing. He's just lived on that outside corner. And it's paid big dividends for him. He's set. Now the pitch. Back-to-back yeah. -back fastballs here as he takes control 0-2. And, and it looks like the scouting report says, work this guy away. And it's been paying off. And whoever put together that scouting report did a real nice job because this whole team hasn't done much offensively at all. Fastball, strike three call, but he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Boy, this guy's got him the lead back in the very first inning, and he hasn't looked back since. He's had everything go his way so far, and this inning's turning out to be no exception. Daniel Murphy will step in now and see what he can do with two on and two out here in the sixth. Here's the first offering. On the ground now for Adrian over at first. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. A golden opportunity to get on the board here goes for naught. Back with more postseason baseball in game two after this. Carlos Torres will come on now as he'll start out the bottom of the six. Andre Ethier will dig in one for two. He grounded out the first time and followed that with a base hit in his second plate appearance. And it looks now like a right hander's begun to get loose in the Mets bullpen. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Pitch on the way. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. The one one. Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. Come on, let's do it. Here's the 2 1 pitch. 2 1 pitch is swung on and hit in the air out to center field. Cespedes is in his tracks now, and he's got it for the first out. A.J. Ellis 
will stand in base on balls his last time. Here's the first pitch to him. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. The pitch. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. And he's just working east and west here. He'll be fine if he just stays out of the middle. Here it comes. Now a swing and a miss on a pitch well out of the strike zone as he becomes the second out. All right, guys, we're going to check this sequence out again on show track, but I can guarantee you he doesn't want to see it again. He's got this thing all backwards up there. He looks at the first two pitches. Those are pitches he probably should have swung at. Then he swings at the one pitch that's out of the strike zone. Here's Jock Peterson now. He'll pick on the first pitch and hit a ground ball towards second. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Yeah, just a nice job of hitting that time. You can see he's got a strong top hand there. He just hooks this one into the hole for a two-out single. In now, Zach Grinke. Here's a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball here, 0-1. Comes set, now the pitch. And he misses with it, 1-1. One one. One one on the way, and a half swing here, but he pretty clearly went around, and it's one and two now. The one two. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle, and that'll get through into center field for a base hit. Boy, he's doing it all out there so far. Not only is he pitching a great game, but he gets in on the act offensively as well. Carl Crawford will stand in trying to make it three straight two-out hits as he's got a runner in scoring position at second with still two away. Now here's the first pitch. And a cut fastball in there for a strike. It's 0-1. Belt, the pitch, and this is going to be a foul ball. Three runs, nine hits, no errors for the Dodgers thus far. He's set, now the pitch. Here's a swing and a ball hit into the air to left center and shallow. Waiting on it is Kadir, and he will make the catch to end the inning. Dodgers strand a couple, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. here at Dodger Stadium. It's on to the seventh now in game two, but before we start, there's a look at our game summary to this point. Travis Darno will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. Travis Darno. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. First pitch on the way. Here's Greinke back to work now as he jumps ahead of the first man to greet him. It's strike one. Yet again, another first pitch strike. And it's a big reason of why he's having the success he is. You establish the count in your favor right away, and it just opens up the door to so many more options going forward. 